Sweet, it's recording. I know. Mittens. Happy New Year. I'm just doing this more or less to let people know what's going on. I go from November, December, January, maybe before then even, October, doing quite a few videos, uh, turning up quite a few bows, being very visible on YouTube. And then about the time New Year's hits, for me, March 21st, and I'll get into that, I switch gears. I go from the, the fall, winter, a lot of bow making, a lot of videos, and this is the writing time of year, where I'm coming off of actually writing the last article that I just submitted for Primitive Archer. It took a lot of work. That was four days of work. That was a complex one to do. Um, and, and now I really have to concentrate on getting my second book out before I get hit hard with the, the season, the preserve. Getting it ready, getting it open, getting the play set, all that stuff. Um, I will be doing a number of painted rawhide back paddle bows because my book is going to include a section on painting and design and how to. You know, how do you lay stuff out? Coming up with good designs. Um, the fundamentals of designs and colors and, and coming up with templates and painting. And so I have to, I don't want it to sound like I, I have to, I have to make these bows. And they're going to have diamond patterns and, and also my um, medicine wheel patterns and then some dyed tips and various things. It'll apply to bows besides paddle bows. And so I'm going to have my my example bows that will be up on the block. I'm not taking any commissions now. I've got enough to do. But I will have bows that will be the bows that will be in my book. Musically, if you are not bow people, you're music people, I'm going from, oh, oh love my new mandolin, in my violin to starting orchestra tomorrow, every Tuesday. My viola, so hopefully I'll remember how to play, read music again. Alto clef, got to be different. Um, saying goodbye in some respects to the mandolin and the fiddle. Kicked it off really great last Saturday. Five straight hours of playing with, with a, a small group of really good musicians, actually professional musicians. And if you play music with other people, sometimes you know you kind of gel with them. It's like you know what each other are thinking, the progressions, you know where they're going to go. Other times it's painful. Well, when I'm playing with um, Kirby and Bob Schneider and Pete Cummings and Carrie Covertis and Tech, my friend Tech, um, we have a feeling, you know, how each other plays really well, so it went well. Actually, the first time I ever played El Cumbanchero at speed with other people, all the way through, hitting almost all of my notes. Also, Jerusalem Ridge. Hey, you know, so that went well. Enjoyed it. Five straight hours of playing. Um, freestyle. Improvise. I love to improvise. To the, the orchestral music, which is highly documented, highly regimented. Have to hit every note the way they want at a certain sound level. But that in itself is fun. I enjoy that. I don't want you to think that I, I find that a drag. Other than that, that is about it. Happy New Year, covered that. Music, the book, um, Permanent Archer, um, the book sales spiked when I told that squirrel joke. That was awesome. I get such a kick out of that. The squirrel joke must be so great that inspired like a group of people to suddenly buy my book. I wonder how many I'd sell if I told that. Elvis tattoo joke. I'm not going to give up everything. Anyway, talk long enough. I'm going to drink my tea. Um, go over my music. Make sure that I've got everything taped together. Multiple sheets of music. I tape them and then number all the measures so they can refer to certain measures. That is that. Have a good day. Thank you for watching. Hope this finds you in Good health and good spirits. Ah.